Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be breaking down the little sneak peek that they released just a few days ago, but also mainly I want to talk about my theory as to who is working with Nora. I want to go into a bit more detail than I did in my review. So, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, let's quickly go over the mini sneak peek that they released. Obviously, this is the Flash Time promos that they keep on putting out, the sped up ones. I'll leave a link in the description below to it, I'm not going to include it at the start because it's so short. You might as well just go to TV Promos channel and just actually watch it. Go check that out in the description below, but essentially, you can see in the shots, there's a few interesting shots like Barry's playing baseball at a charity game for the CCPD and then you get a few shots of Barry and Iris cooking and just normal stuff and just various looks at Nora you know nothing too special just little moments in the episode obviously it's not the entire episode but the most interesting thing that they included in this was this specific shot of Harrison Wells of Sherlock Wells presumably wearing the cicada mask which is really intriguing because I don't know what is going on Either he's got this cicada mask from another Earth that he's brought out as an example because apparently he's took down different versions of cicada, but either way, it's very, very mysterious. What do you think is actually going on in this scene? I'm curious to know. And then there's a few other shots of Sherlock Wells explaining things on the whiteboard as they normally do with everyone looking upon it. So that is about it. That's the overall gist of what I got from this new promo and now I want to talk about my theory as to who Nora is working with in the future. So we got teased at the end of last episode from Sherlock Wells that there is that she didn't make this decision on purpose. So this is where I go into my theory. So I've been thinking about this for about a week now and most people's theory is it's probably a twin or it's the reverse flash. I lean more towards the evil side of things with more nefarious intents and I do in fact believe that it could be reverse flash who actually hinted and made Nora change this specific piece in the timeline because if you know the comics, you know the Reverse Flash is obsessed with Barry. Same thing really on the TV show. He's obsessed with him, he wants to become the Flash, and when he realises what his destiny is, he becomes the reverse of him, the Reverse Flash always destined to fight the Flash. And so in the comics, he has a heavy connection to the Flash Museum, which we got introduced to last episode. But essentially, he is a Flash fanatic, very similar to Nora. So you would hazard the guess in the future, he is always at the Flash Museum. So if he is around at the same time when Nora was around in the future and someone has pushed Nora to do this and change the timeline, perhaps it's an older version of Reverse Flash, or perhaps it's that current day version of the Reverse Flash, who makes Nora do this, who perhaps threatens Iris because he probably knows the connection if Nora actually reveals that she is the Flash's daughter or Barry's daughter, and perhaps this is his way in actually trying to reach the Flash, and maybe this is an earlier version of himself, that this could be an attempt to change the timeline in order so that the Flash is alive in the future, very similar to what Nora wants. Nora wants to see Barry, meet Barry, talk to Barry, grow up with Barry, and the Reverse Flash being a fanatic about the Flash, with him being such a fanboy of his hero, whose hero is now dead or has vanished, he would want to see the Flash, and perhaps he has forced Nora to come back in time and change the timeline in order that Barry can survive and be alive in the future and maybe he works at the Flash Museum and perhaps he is the owner. This is something that I think could be a real thing and I believe with his curiosity about the Flash and his intent, he could perhaps track down that Nora is in fact related to the Flash and maybe he has got leverage on her. So thank you guys so much. For so anyway guys, what do you think of that theory? I think the theory is a solid theory. Obviously it could not happen, but it also could happen. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, or do you have any other theories in regards to who helped make the decision for Nora to come back in time and change that satellite incident and help? So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.